very, very good picture there of a black-crowned chagra. Do you see it, Ian? It's in this Gymnosporia buxifolia bush. There it is. Mm. That's quite unusual, everyone. They're very secretive birds. There are also some wax bills, some blow swaces, wimpy, mm. and a rattling cysticola. Oh, no, sorry, that's a grey headed sparrow. He's a sweet fellow. Normally the first sound of the morning, the grey headed sparrow. And you can see very nicely hidden there. You can hear a robin calling. There's a blue waxbill looking around for seeds. Ideally, but we'll take anything at this stage of the day. What else have we got? You can hear the wax balls going. There's some drongos. And some parrots calling. Well spotted, Vian. There's another bird. Oh, that's the chagra again. That's like a shrike, everybody. Chagra is very much, is a, is a shrike. Ooh, and an emerald spotted wood dove. It's all happening here. There was this great plethora of animals yesterday during the competition, which I lost, which is why I'm now wearing this hat. Here's the grey headed sparrow. You can see it is, looks like a sparrow, VM with a grey head. You see that? That's why it's called a grey headed sparrow. I'm surprised the ornithologists haven't got it into their heads to call it something else ridiculous. That's a particularly obvious name. And just on the top there, hopping about, is that another drongo? And it is not a drongo, everybody. It's a southern black tit. Let's try and see what he's eating. Because he too is an insect eater by choice. Very few insects they're going to find now. I suppose they'd also eat those spiders. You know how many little spiders we found in the grass, in amongst the inflorescences, in amongst the trees like this? I guess these birds must be scrounging around for the last of those spiders. You're going to have to scrounge for some time. That's a really good return.